morning, first winter morning in a way. Not really winter yet, but it's, the car shows the potential for freezing. Let's look at leak B and how the things are there, because there are also quite some interesting um, options. And yeah, it starts out with the probably probably the biggest League B matchup uh, now in this next round, which is Austria at home to Bosnia. Of course, I'm gonna say that because I'm Austrian. So, uh, but looking at it, all the other ones, there's not as much at stake. Um, the group, it's group three, is looks very much decided uh, with Bosnia having won everything and Austria associating at nine points, Austria sitting at three points so um, and Northern Ireland zero and, but it's a double uh, date for Austria now so they have uh, now Bosnia at home and then Northern Ireland away and if just calculations they need to win both games and then maybe they can beat Bosnia and Herzegovina, but it's not as straightforward as you might think. Um, first of all, um, so a win is a must. If any point for Bosnia and Herzegovina, they get promotion to League A. Um, let's talk draw also. Uh, a draw basically. So let's win for Bosnia Herzegovina means also the three points. Uh, draw uh, similarly. Yeah, let's go through those options because uh, it also has the other game. So if Bosnia Herzegovina wins, Austria sits its three points and has an away game to uh, Northern Ireland, in which case they uh, would need to avoid defeat. Uh, a draw in, not, in order to not get relegated. So, which away to Northern Ireland is, is an opponent that also just cannot get it together. Uh, I cannot remember us ever playing well in Northern Ireland. So, right there, you already know that. Uh, I already feel that it, this match against Bosnia is all about avoiding um, relegation because I don't trust them to get a good result. Um, so if they lose, they need to avoid defeat, otherwise um, they're relegated. If, they're, if they draw, it's the same story, so uh, it actually doesn't really matter. It's, you almost need to play all out, because a draw doesn't do much for you at four points. Oh no! Stupid me. If you have a draw, then you have already avoided relegation, because you have, you have four points and none of that has zero points. So. Stupid me, yeah. So, um, draw in that sense uh, would have a pos uh, sort of positive implication, but also uh, completely decides the group. If Austria wins, and that's the result that everyone is talking here, here about, and I honestly have to tell you, I'm not so. Happy that everyone only talks about the winning against Bosnia because um, yes, the game in Bosnia and Herzegovina, uh, I think it was Zenica. Austria was definitely not the worst team, but they did very well either. And just when everyone thought it will be zero zero, uh, the Jacko scored because they shot themselves in the foot. So from that point of view. Um, Bosnia is such a dangerous team. Uh, I also would say that Bosnia was not the better team uh, when they played in Northern Ireland. They were just clinically in converting their chances while Northern Ireland uh, wasted one after the other. So uh, just taking that, that in account, I don't care if Austria is uh, the better team. Um, they have shown the propensity to not being able to win. And honestly, even when they won against Northern Ireland, it was, in my opinion, not a good showing uh, at all. It, they won thanks to Marko Arnautovic, who is at the moment by far the best player when playing for Austria. Uh, people would say that uh, David Alaba, who is now playing again, uh, would be the 
uh, best or most well-known player and probably has the most talent, but for Austria, honestly, he hasn't shown much as of late. Uh, decent, but not in this uh, absolute dominating form as Marko Nautovic has been for pretty much ever since the Euro, Euro 2016. Um, so yeah, I'm also excited that there is uh, a last player again in the in, in the squad since Sabitzer from Leipzig is uh, injured. He has been sensational for Lask. Um, he, Thomas Goeginger, uh, he, going forward, he is a force, but you know, in Galaxy, I'm not sure if he's really made for um, the higher leagues. I gotta say it seems to because he's, a, he's this kind of a little bit careless uh, genius player. Hard working though, uh, but you know, sometimes a little bit careless and um, not very well tracking back and all those low autos. Kind of but going forward with his dynamism and so on, he can actually do quite some damage. And maybe he will come on late, late in the game. Um, that remains to be seen. But yeah, so going back, um, let's say Austria wins. If they win 1-0, uh, then they are even in the direct uh, duel with Bosnia and Herzegovina. Meaning, it's then down to goal differential. And there the bad news is that Bosnia won 2-1 in uh, Belfast and 2-0 at home. Uh, so they have 4-1 and we have only 1-0, uh, so you would need uh, to win by 3 goals or, you know, you need to get a good result. So a 1-0 does, does, doesn't do it. Uh, same thing, 2-1, 3-2, um, all those would put everything back to Bosnia and Herzegovina. Um, so you cannot win the group anymore because you lose the direct um, comparison with Bosnia and Herzegovina. So basically Austria needs to win by two goals in order to have any chance, any realistic chance. Uh, yes, if they win 1-0, uh, potentially they can pull out a 3-1 in Belfast, but then there again, uh, even with Bosnia and then it's probably lots been drawn or something like that, a fair play where I honestly don't know exactly what's gonna happen. So yeah, um, everything could be decided with a draw in that group uh, or with a 3-2 win, a 2-1 two, one, two, one win, any win that puts Bosnia through, uh, win by two goals or more uh, will give Austria a chance of promotion. However, the loss we already know will give Northern Ireland a chance um, to relegate Austria, more or less. So if they then win against Austria, then it's the same, a similar story, you know, with only uh, pretty much then Northern, Northern Ireland need, needs to win by two goals, more or less, uh, to save themselves from rele relegation, which, honestly, it's not impossible. Um, I'm taking on the typical Austrian role. Uh, uh, you know, we Austrians usually are all hey for the national team. They are good. If, if they're good, then we're all very skeptical and almost very self-deprecating when they're not good, uh, to the point that we actually are cheering if they really lose. As they did in '99 to Spain, 9 0. Um, I think most other countries would be devastated in Austria. It was almost joking about it. <laughs> Look at those idiots what they did again. 9 0. Wow, those are incapable of anything. And But you know, in a very self deprecating, uh, just a Schadenfreude type of way. Okay, that was group three. Uh, let's go through the other groups. I think that um, ach, I looked it up yesterday. In the, in the, in the, um, I think that they're going that the um, there's a double date uh, for groups one and four, uh, which means that we have 
uh, let's look at group one because because the, the is this easy one. It's, it's the already decided one uh, where we have a matchup between the, uh, Slovakia and the Ukraine. Uh, for Slovakia, it's actually all about avoiding relegation and they have uh, bad cards because they lost their home game to the Czech Republic. It's uh, also a 9-3-0 group like the Austria group, but in that case uh, we have already a promoted team and there's, it's just the way that the draw went is, uh, is slightly different um, because of the number of games played. So. Um, if Slovakia gets anything out of that game, so um, yeah, we can't go again. If Ukraine wins, uh, Slovakia still will need to beat uh, the Czechs and we'll look at the results. The Czechs have, I think, 2-1 two, two, losses to the Ukraine, 2-1 two, 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 win. Uh, so they're down minus one uh, and Slovakia has lost both games they have minus two so basically they will need uh, in order to win the they probably also will need to, to win by two goals against the Czechs in that scenario uh, if they get a point uh, all the changes is that a uh, plain win will do for uh, Slovakia and if Slovakia wins then they're in a really good position I would say because then they probably uh, now it comes down to goal differential they still would need now they still would need the win uh, because even if they then get a draw against the Czechs um, so Slovakia wins then they are level on points with the Czechs but the Czechs have the tiebreaker uh, thanks to winning against the Slovaks so a draw will not see if him through so basically uh, you need you need a win against the Czech, so it's almost a meaningless game, almost I would say. Uh, it just because a draw will in neither case see you through. I'm just making the calculations in my head again. So the Slovak sits at zero point. Um, if they have one point, a draw doesn't put them past the checks, and uh, a draw if they have three points also doesn't. So uh, truly meaningless, game, I would say. Uh, just avoid defeat. That's what it boils down to. Um, then there is the Denmark. Um, Wales game, which already uh, Wales against Denmark, which has actually quite some riding on it. This is also an interesting group because Wales has three games, Denmark has only two, and Ireland has three games. Um, now, having said that, uh, we have Wales sitting at six, but lo having lost two 0 to Denmark, uh, but Denmark has the zero zero against Ireland, uh, and that's more or less where things get really interesting here um just let me i want to switch lanes i want to do that right here but still for me i want to do it because the, oh, otherwise i'm never gonna be able to do it okay <laughs> so uh wales against denmark let's talk about so we have denmark at four points they have the win against wales they have a zero zero against ireland and i'm sure that the zero zero could hurt them because now with wales sitting at six points uh denmark at four this also means ireland cannot catch denmark but ireland Denmark if it's a draw. 
Uh, in that case, they had seven, uh, seven and five and one. This means that uh, Ireland is relegated, so they don't have much to play for. It also means that a win uh, against Ireland at home, something that Denmark probably can achieve if they want, but not necessarily will. Also, there's some trouble within the Danish camp. Still, I think playing for the national team is not a great thing that they all wanna do with all the contract disputes and all that kind of stuff happening. I have a feeling it won't matter too much, but you know. Uh, also in World Cup qualifying, where they had, had the playoff, they won 5-1 in Ireland, but had a 0-0 at home, so... You never know, but I, I still do think that if Denmark um, gets the point in Wales, they probably will pull out the victory against Ireland. Um, the one thing that I will give Ireland, although they won't have anything to play for at that point, that Ireland will give them a fight, a fight because I trust in the Irish to uh, be a proper sportsman. Something that, for instance, I wouldn't trust my southern European friends. <laughs> Just being real realistic and I totally understand it. Uh, this is not a judgment. So yeah, not say it's a must win for Wales, but you know, it would put them in a much better position. A win for Denmark, actually, would see Denmark promoted. It's direct, in a way. Whoever wins gets promotion. Whoever loses, uh, well, the, the, the doesn't get promotion and the draw, um, I think, puts the... What's the advantage to Denmark, I would say, although uh, Wales can at least sit pretty and, but you know, it's uh, it's not in your hand anymore. So yeah, uh, it's in that sense, this group is very easy because um, you don't have to look at Irish and so on, uh, and that's the beauty of the, the, the draw. Uh, in here. Then, uh, the last one is then... Turkey Sweden matchup, which means everything for Sweden. And also puts Turkey a little bit at us. But then the funny thing is, if you look at the group, we have Russia. Um, Russia has one point from home against Sweden, uh, and then they won both against Turkey. So Russia has seven points. We have Turkey having won. Uh, against Sweden, three points, and Sweden having one point. Um, quick calculation, Sweden has two games to play, the others have only one game to play. Russia is quasi-promoted, the Turks cannot catch up with Sweden. With two wins, Sweden is in contention, and that's the tricky part in that group. So, uh, it's Turkey, Sweden. If Turkey wins, quite easy, that, that decides the group. Uh, that means that Russia will win uh, the group and gets promotion. Turkey is second, Sweden is relegated to. That's straightforward. If there is a draw, let's go again through them, uh, then Turkey has four points, Sweden has one point, but Turkey then has a tiebreaker, so also Sweden is relegated, the group is decided. If Sweden wins, then Sweden goes past Turkey. No, let, let me pull, uh, pull back the truck. If there's a draw, Turkey has four points, but Sweden has two points. Then it's not decided yet. The draw doesn't decide it. Um, Sweden with a victory uh, against Russia with a five points and relegates uh, Turkey. So you would. A draw would put Sweden in a, in a spot to uh, avoid relegation, but still they would have to pull out the result. Um, and yeah, Russia is not the pushover team. So I would say still if a, a, a draw is probably better for Sweden than for Turkey. Just because, you know, you have the chance to get the result uh, and it's not in your hands anymore. I gotta look at the probabilities in, in, in a way, but I would say that Sweden at home to Russia is still favored. Although, as of late, eh, both teams. 
it's it's tricky. It's tricky. Sweden is a little bit in a, a post war capital, so that makes it tricky for me. Okay, and if Sweden wins, then they have a shot at the group. If Sweden wins, they really get to. Sweden wins, they, uh, they then sit at four points and then direct duel against Russia. And the simple win will see them through because they have the draw against Russia. So there you have it two wins for Sweden and they win the group. However, yeah, it's all to play for. Uh, we only know that Turkey cannot get promoted uh, and Russia cannot get relegated, but for Sweden, all results are still possible. And Part of me wants to see the two Sweden wins because it would kind of be an unlikely uh, turn of events. I would like that they go from uh, last to first. But uh, let's do the final thing that I'm doing yes, is it how do I think the, the groups will go. Um, we already know, let's start group one. Um, I think it will be uh, Ukraine, Czechs, Slovaks. I thought that the Slovaks are, the, are stronger than the, than the Czechs, but I think the Czechs hold most of the cards. Group two, um, that's the. I think it will be Russia, Sweden, Russia, Sweden, Turkey. Um, I think Sweden will get the point in Turkey because they had actually the Turks. They're a little bit mad, mad, mad at them, um, and even and then they will do the result. Get the points to avoid relegation. So I, I think it still will be Russia, Sweden, Turkey. But you know, it's very, very close between Turkey and Sweden. I think Russia will go. Um, I just think that with the game against Russia in hand, Sweden will not. Sweden will get a win out of those two. Just get three. Group 3, Bosnia, Austria, Northern Ireland. I think the Bosnia, Austria game will end in a draw. Um, Bosnia will sit back. Austria will uh, try to... Uh, will try every, 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 every everything, but I, I don't think at the end of the day it will go through. I go as far as if Bosnia wins, then Austria will be relegated. Just a gut feeling that I have. I think it will Bosnia will be promoted in Northern Ireland. Um, that to me is the most likely scenario. And then the last group um, is the Denmark Wales. I actually think the head says uh, Denmark Wales Ireland. My gut tells me that it will be Wales. Well, that's where things are. Uh, so look, I can shoot a um, video of uh, Group D jerseys, uh, League D jerseys um, tonight, or maybe two vid vid videos that I will post. Uh, I have to see how it, how, how it, how it goes. Um, I will for sure try to get a, a blog post out tonight. Since I didn't do anything yesterday, uh, just didn't get to it. But let's see how things will go there. Uh, work, I actually have a full slate of tasks today, so uh, I really have to see how things will turn out there. Uh, but if I can get a blog post out, it will be some League C team. That probably was at the Euros as well. Uh, have to see how I'm exactly do it. Let me know what you think about where the lead uh, B is going, uh, what you expect from the results uh, in the upcoming days. And yeah, I'd love to hear, hear from you. Um, give it some sort of like the video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these. And I will talk to you soon. Almost at work, so better end this video. Up until then, bye.